riding the 2023 Ducati Diavel V4 or the Diavel, the Diavelli if you're Italian. Gear shifters meeting up. That fine gentleman's gonna ride my Street Fighter. And we're gonna do a two part here. We're gonna ride the street so we can get a good idea what it feels like riding the street. And then we're gonna go up the mountain a little bit and have some fun. Stay tuned for part two, which is where we actually go over all the fine details, the sweet dash we have here, and all of that fun stuff that comes with Ducati and the new screens they have. Very excited, so let's go for a ride. All right, we are cruising on the 2023 Ducati Diablo V4. It's got that 1158cc Gran Turismo motor and it's what came from the um, multi-shot, I believe. And it is freaking a beast. <laughs> We're riding around sport mode. Uh, I think when we go through the twisties, we'll start to feel, ooh, that quick shifter's nice. We'll start to feel what it is in the different modes. And yeah. Well, I wanted to get this street ride done because a lot of my videos don't really cover this. And being that this is a more a street bike, look at that bag, so pretty. But yeah, this is more of a touring, cruising style bike. I wanted to make sure that it was still streetable. I'm not sure what they did with the quick shifter, but it almost feels even smoother than some of the 22, 23 Panagalis I felt. And it's probably obviously the motor. And I do believe the Malthus shot it because it does have the same motor. Maybe the transmission is the same and that's why everything's so much more smooth. I mean, you guys are there in the internet professionals. You can tell me that, but that's what I believe is the case. The quick shifter is amazing. Also, what's really funny, this tire is a 240 tire. So like when we come to a stoplight, you know, if it's slow motion and we come to a stop, but like not fully because you go to a green like this, it's almost like it balances on itself. It's super easy to not move, not put your feet down and not fall over <laughs> it's kind of awesome right off the bat i do notice the clutch again feels way different than the street fighter i have a lot more tension on the street fighter whereas this the clutch is super super easy it's like the difference between driving my hellcat and then driving the vet the vet had a very light clutch pedal whereas the hellcat was very heavy same thing this clutch pedal, or this clutch pedal yeah this clutch lever is super light and easy to pull so when you start out Take it slow, find the friction zone. <laughs> now it's been some time since I've ridden the Diablo. I first rode it back in 2013, 2014. I believe it was a 1260 twin. And the twin motor was just a thumping beast. And this is super tame and refined in a sense. Like you couldn't move around in this manner or this type of traffic in third gear it would not be happy but you can and it's super smooth and compliant it's not twitchy at all even in sport mode which is kind of fantastic i i know that i've criticized ducati for taking away the edge that they usually have the rawness that they usually have but i have to applaud them here this made for a much more rideable bike especially in this type of situation something else i want to point out is i'm sitting in traffic we're going slow it's only about 80 77 degrees and i don't really feel any heat blowing onto my legs again something the 1260 you could not say that <laughs> that bike got hot just like every other twin as far as the cruisability yeah i could see this going on long distances i will note something that i noticed on the previous diablo that is very true with this one is I don't feel like I have a lot of room backwards. Like right now I'm all the way up against the back of the seat and I like to have a little bit more range. Uh, one of the criticisms again from the old one was the seat hugged your butt in a way while while that was comfortable, it didn't allow you to move any. So if you're doing a long trip and you need to readjust, you would readjust right back in the same spot, which doesn't sound bad, but if you've ever tried to sleep in the same spot, and then you get uncomfortable well imagine not being able to move same idea so while the seat's super plush i'd like to move around a little bit and uh the previous model you couldn't this one you can the squishy parts go past your butt cheeks 
The seat's actually very plush, I'm not gonna lie, it's super comfy. I wanna see something. I am a third throttle and I wanna shift down. Did it beautifully. That's what I'm saying, Ducati has really refined how their quick shifter works because for a while, you could not downshift if you had any amount of throttle input. You had to be totally out or it wouldn't let you do it. Or if you did do it while in throttle, it was quite harsh. Something else I'm noticing is as we're going over these bumps, it just sort of rides with them. It doesn't jar you. It's not Cadillac flowing where it's just you feel like you're floating and you, you don't feel the connection to the road. It's more, I'd say BMW floaty where, yeah, you go over the bump, but you feel some feedback through the road and through the tires and through the handlebars. This is interesting, the turning radius of this, the yeah, was incredible. The Street Fighter has nothing on this bike, holy crap, like watch, all the way, all the way, all the way, and then it just kind of goes. Now that is awesome. Now we're going to be in the fun part where we get to go on these nice twisty roads and kind of see how this big old beast performs. A lot of bicyclists, so take it easy. She's a big old girl, so you gotta actually put a little bit of body into it. But I tell you what, the, the oomph and the torque coming out of turns is freaking phenomenal. There's just so much of it. Oh my God, is it nice. <laughs> it's so planted. The back end just sits so well when you come around these turns. And it's a big bike, it's around 500 pounds, so, you know, you don't notice it too much, especially when you're rolling, but my god, the point-and-shoot nature of the front end of this bike is superb. It becomes a freight train, and then it becomes this little ballerina that just kind of twinkle toes its way around all these really tight, narrow turns. I will say I wish the brakes had a little bit more initial bite, but they have plenty. I do say plenty of power. I mean, they are Brembo's, but I like it a little more because of the weight of the bike. You feel it shift, and maybe that's part of the reason you don't want it to be a crazy shift forward, but... Oh man, this is probably one of the best days I've ridden out here. There's no one in front of me. <laughs> Incredible. For something that is this comfortable to be this easy to ride and have the name Ducati on it, I don't know man, <laughs> I would love to have one. Just the way the throttle response is, again it's a sport, there's wet urban touring. Uh, I was talking to the owner, he had it in touring on a few places and it actually dropped the revs down. So. It was under the impression that it's to save fuel economy or to save fuel to have better fuel economy, I should say. And I can see that. Ducati is weird like that. Also, I'll say that third gear seems to be its freaking happy place where it's not too revvy, it's not too boggy, it's right where it likes to be. And it allows you to either accelerate and go to the fourth, fifth, sixth, and beyond, or stay there in third and kind of cruise along, especially on the streets. Man, the, the usable power, the linear nature of its delivery, and the fact that there's just a buttload of it. So you want to do some motorcycle videos and whatnot. Yeah, this is what you got to look forward to. Standing in the middle of nowhere waiting for a bike to come. <laughs> okay, now we have to run to the next spot. <laughs>